Hey, Brandon DeShaw here, Global Energy Laboratories. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to uh, do crush testing on frac sand samples. I'm going to walk you through all the steps involved uh, with performing a crush test. Uh, in this case, we're going to crush some 2040 sized sand at uh, 4000 PSI. So we call it a 4K test on 2040 sized sand. So what we're going to do first is weigh out a sample uh, and the weight of the sample, the mass of the sample is based on the bulk density test that we uh, did prior to this and then you run some calculations uh, to get an exact volume of sand in the crush cylinder. So first thing we do now is we're going to weigh that exact mass of sand on our uh, scale here. So we have a scale here, right here. Here's our scale. And then we have a Humboldt small sample splitter. So we're always splitting our samples in the lab to ensure that we get a, uh, a random sampling of sand. And all the splitter does is it you pour the sand sample in the top and you open uh, this uh, lever on the side and it splits the sand randomly into two, into two separate samples, and that's how that works. So I have a bag of sand that has uh, is larger than one sample. I'm going to pour it into the sample splitter, and we will split it down to our uh, crush mass, which is 36.774. Grams. So let's do. Uh, I think we just are going to need to do one split to grab a little spoon here. Okay, I'm back here. So I'm just going to pull the lever up that drops the sand down. can see in one side of the sample splitter I have uh, one split of sand so this is half the sand that was in that bag the sample splitter split it into two at this point I've got my scale ready to go it reads out to three digits and I'm gonna pour in uh, the sample on okay so we're not quite uh, Reading on the scale, we're not quite where we need to be at 36. It's showing, oh, 29.5. So I'm just going to, uh, we're going to, since we're within uh, right around 5, what, what I'll do is I'll split down. Okay, I know there's about 30 in here. So I'll just keep splitting. Now I know there's 50 in each one. Now if I split that one more time, I should have seven grams in here. Okay, this should be about seven grams. I can pour that in. 29 plus seven. Uh, it was a little bit more than that, so I've got 37 grams. Now I'm just going to remove a little bit, get down to our 36.774. 